28th of April, and I really hope that you know we can all you know work that mass action and make it all happen. But look, without without any further me talking about things, I'll hand over to Sue. I've done some lessons in microphone, thanks to Bruce. I'd like to acknowledge Bruce Nelson, who's my media advisor. And we had a lesson the other day because apparently I yell into a microphone, so I've got to pretend it's just I'm talking to someone who's here. <laughs> it's all hard work. And uh, today was the last day of the council for me as Division 7 councillor. And I've got to say, it's been a huge journey in eight years. And I've got people here tonight who know the journey we've been on and we know collaboratively we can make a huge difference to this city. We've done it in surface, we can do it for the rest of the city. As Chair of Economic Development, I've been able to extend and make sure that I, there are areas across the coast that I've been involved in. Surface Paradise, since I've been in there, has seen just over the road here, the McIntosh Island Bridge, we've seen the, uh, the, the Ocean Way at, uh, above, uh, north of uh, Southport Yacht Club. We've seen Cavill Moor being redone. We've done a $25 million foreshore redevelopment. Fixed up the, the Fernie Avenue thing with a $40 million project that was stopped. We've, uh, <laughs> these are just, uh, Barry knows, because Barry and I have worked together on all of these projects. Put little parks around the place and, and starting the ocean way now between Surface and Broadbeach. Very controversial, but they needed leadership. And I was able to get that leadership, not just because of me, but because of the people who gathered with me to make a difference. People here tonight, Randall, who did all of my work on Tedder Avenue, where we did the street print, Randall Black's here tonight. We've got people here who've been planners and developers. We've got Robert, R Roberto Battalotti, people who've done amazing things for Surface Paradise are here tonight. And I feel very confident because I know with all of your help, we can go forward and we can make this city the global city, the best city in the world, a city that is the envy of every other city, a city that is the health, the, the, the leading city of health, the leading city of IT. And just today, I was on the radio this morning at 6.50 talking about the rollout of the NBN. We were involved in negotiating to get that out. We've now got NBN happening from Narang right down the surface across to Ashmore and um, Main Beach, I can't believe they're doing surface after we're actually putting the light rail in, but anyway, it's <laughs> underground. <laughs> There's a lot of projects that are, uh, that are in the pipeline. We're, we're looking at putting an underwater cable to the Gold Coast that comes from Guam to Sydney. This will give us the capability to bring the likes of Google and Apple to our shores. We're wanting to build our universities. We're wanting to make sure that we can compete with Boston, that we've got Griffith and Bond, but we've also got the opportunity for research to get the best professors here from all around the world to encourage students and publications and we'll be doing that. We'll be getting business on site through business. Our um, Chambers of Commerce will be part of Business Gold Coast. We haven't done that in the past but they will be representative of all of the businesses. We want to make sure that we don't just develop for develop, development's sake but we develop because people want to actually live here in the units that they buy. They want to have their children here at schools. They want their children to go to university here. They want to be grandparents, like we will be soon. But, you know, not yet, but anyway. We've got a daughter, not this one, another daughter that's just got married. We want to make sure that our grandkids want to come and see us and, and maybe live here with us in, on the Gold Coast. There's been a huge exodus of students going from the Gold Coast to Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne and across the world and not a lot of them coming home. Let's get the kids back home. They're the kids that have been in these fabulous schools here on the coast. They're the kids that we want to grow this city with. We also want to embrace multiculturalism. We want to make sure that every cultural group, every religious group within the city feels very welcome. And as mayor of the city, that's what I'll be making sure I do. I, I want to open the doors for everybody. I want to make sure there's a balance here, a balance of, 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 of development, but also a balance of, of moral compass. I don't want this city to be a city that's just a glitz and glamour, white shoe brigade, I'm over that. And in Service Paradise, I've been able to connect with people from all over, and we all want to make a difference. Everyone here does. So as mayor of this city, and with your help, we can do it. We've got 28 days to go. I've got 84 booths, which I'll need people on. If any of you want to help, just please get onto my website. 
I've got a wrap going on the sun this week, four pages, which will go across the whole city. Now that wrap has cost me $30,000 and uh, this tonight we'll finish off that payment. So that's why it's important that I had you here tonight because my, my, my campaign is grassroots. There's not a lot of money and I've, I've actually been very vocal, uh, open about this. I think my reputation and the work I've done hopefully will get me the job, not a lot of money and I'm up against big money, big billboards. I've got a little billboard. I've got a husband who gets up every morning and drops my billboard to a different area in the city. And people say, gee, you've got a lot of billboards. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I've just got one. But, um, I've also got, I've got uh, I, the shop. Oh, yes, and Cole Little. Thank you very much. Cole's company, and I've been very public with this too. Cole's Little has, Cole, Cole, Cole Little's um, shop, which was the old pie shop sitting up on top of Smith Street. And it used to be above that where the people looked out for the uh, the weather. They were the weather forecasters because it's on the top of the hill. 65,000 cars a day go past that little shop. So for the next four weeks, that shop will be busy because I'll have a Lexus and, and the team who are with me working on getting those booths filled. It's about working together, making a difference. And I want to thank you all for coming here tonight.